happy Saturday, August 22nd, 22. I just want to say grand rising to all the gods, goddesses, kings, queens. Um, It's like, I don't know, let's see. It's 8.31 a.m. where I'm at. So, before I start talking about the ancestors and how to do an ancestor table, I pull the overall word of the day for y'all. Spirit is saying your commitment is being tested, trying to see where your loyalty is. That Spirit is going to send a lot of low vibrational spirits to test you, to see how you're going to handle the situation. Just know it's a test and you can pass this. All right. So we have ancestors. Ancestors that we know and don't know. Um, some we knew when we were born. Some we didn't when we wasn't born. So we have like generational ancestors. Then you break those down to lower vibrational ancestors and high believing and healed ancestors. Your low vibrational ancestors are the one that lived on earth that was always in and out of jail. Always quick to kill somebody and hurt someone. Always was like either on drugs or alcoholic, was abusive, or the ones that were always um, spending money and always in your family pocket spending money. Those are low vibrational um, ancestors. They don't really care. Then you have your high vibrational ancestors. Those are the ones where some people call Big Mama, the one that kept the family together, the one that was always for peace, the one that knew how to budget money. I mean, penny pitcher the prayer warriors of the family the one that was hard working trying to keep the family together always um going to church um the ones that everyone called on when they need something and then you have your spiritual ancestors your spiritual ancestors can be from back in generations i mean like generation and generation when uh family practiced african spirituality they uh, worship because a lot of them was religious and some weren't. But the ones that worship Lawaz and the ones that worship um, Orishas. Then you have your ancient ancestors. Your ancient ancestors are the ones that sits on the left hand or right hand side of God. Your ancient ancestors is Lila. One can be like Archangel Samael, um, it can be Lucifer, it can be like um, Moses, it can be some ancient shaman from a Navajo tribe. It goes on and on and on. When you setting up your ancestor altar, it has to be from earth. So they prefer wood. It doesn't have to be. It can be a dresser that you no longer use. It can be like one of those... Um, little bitty dinner table tv dinner table stands it can be like a little coffee table a side table a nightstand something made of wood if you have glass glass is good too you need a white cloth reason why i said a white cloth because it holds high vibration it holds positivity so you would need that also you would need your pictures if you have them if you don't have pictures, you can get a piece of paper and write their names on it. On that piece of paper, you're going to write my high beloved hill ancestors, known and unknown, on my maternal, which is mother, and paternal, which is father's side. Okay? Then you're going to get something that represents earth. It can be a crystal. It can be a plant. Something to represent earth. Then you're going to need something to represent fire a candle you're going to need something to represent air incense and also a glass of water you want to change the water every day because you want fresh water every day start paying attention to the water if you have bubbles as spiritual activity there please and if you just have pure clear water it's okay they still around you but if you see that your water is mucky dirty or something's wrong with it you did something wrong they're not pleased you're not giving them attention also you want to put money on the table 
You can put regular money or, or ancestor money. People always say, black people, I have to put it this way, you need to get ancestor money to represent black people. You got to understand something. You wasn't always black. Every black person ain't, is, is not African, okay? You got to understand you have past lives. You're reincarnated. So you can, you can have like white people as your ancestors. You can have Greeks, Romans, Chinese, Native American, Hindu. It doesn't matter. As long as you burn money. They prefer real money. But if you don't have it to burn it, ancestor money. You can get it on Etsy. You can get it on Amazon. Whatever floats your boat. Okay? Okay. You want to put food down food is energy food is energy because they need energy to go back and forth through portals a water glass of water is a portal if you know they smoke cigarettes leave a pack of cigarettes there if you know they smoke i mean uh smoke weed put weed there if you know they smoke the pipe put a pipe there black coffee tea uh their favorite perfume whatever it is you don't worship your ancestors, you honor them. Because when your ancestors were alive on this earth, you didn't worship them. You honored them like on Mother's Day, Grandparents Day, Father's Day, birthday. It's the same. As above, so below. You got to understand the body's dead, but the soul re goes back into energy to the next lifetime. And there's always a next lifetime if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Everyone have a life purpose. And if you're not serving your life purpose, majority of the time you get reincarnated back. Everyone has to make their wrongs right. Sometimes your ancestors come back as a spirit guide. Sometimes they come back as other people's spirit guide because they have to make their wrongs right. You never want to call upon your low vibrational um ancestors to help you like open doors close doors or to help you budget money or help you send you money because when they was on earth they couldn't do it they always started chaos those are the ones you call upon when someone's trying to fuck you over or pissing you off or they owe you money or you need something to d done those are the ones you call your high believing in heal ancestors is the one when you call when you need guidance when you need understanding, when you need doors open and doors close. Let me break down the ancestors. We were born with two parents. Then that breaks down to four parents. Then it breaks down to eight great grandparents. Then it breaks down to 16 second great. Then that breaks down to 32 third great. Then that breaks down to 64 fourth great. Then that breaks down to 128 fifth great. That breaks down to 256 sixth great. 512 seventh great. 1024 eighth great. 2048 ninth great. If you add those all together, you have 4,994 over the last 400 generations of ancestors. You have many ancestors. Yes, you're not going to know them. No, you don't going to know them. You have a lot of ancestors that need honoring, that fight for you. So remember, you always want, if you do work, never do work, candle work, on your ancestor altar that's disrespectful you need a separate altar for that your ancestor altar is to honor them when you hungry they hungry you don't you only have to fix like a big one big plate of food you can leave it there for four hours six hours three days you don't want it there to it rot that's nasty that's disrespectful always change the water Sometimes if y'all feel like, why am I craving cake? Or why am I thinking about a sweet potato pie? Why am I smelling coffee or drinking, thinking about drinking a cup of coffee and I don't? It's because your ancestors are saying that's what they want. They show you signs. They come to you in dreams. Some of y'all had weird dreams about people y'all didn't even know and they were your ancestors. And the ones that are adopted, that don't know their maternal, paternal father, I mean parent, Y'all gifted, y'all blessed because y'all have extra. So you have your mother's side, your father's side, and your adopted parent's side. 
So you get extra because they adopted you. So you can call upon them. Like I said, if you don't have their picture, you can write their name. If you don't write their, if you don't know their name, you can say known and unknown on my mother's side and my father's side. You always want to say hi, beloved and heal ancestors because those are the ones who are going to help you prosper. If you want something done, something handled, you remember how you had a boyfriend or something and he kept bullying you or something happened. So you call upon that uncle and that uncle scared the shit out of him. That's like a low vibrational one that you want to call to get stuff done. There's a difference. Once you outgrow, let me reverse it. When you start getting further into your spiritual journey and you get higher and you elevate your higher in different dimensions, you outgrow your, um, your ancestors, your high beloved and healed ancestors, because they can only go so far. They have so much clout. That's when you start getting into your spiritual ancestors and your ancient ancestors. And once you start getting higher, that's when you start messing with the master leaders, healers, and teachers. There's a total so far that they have told me. It could be more. There's a total of 33 dimensions. 33 dimensions. And you're always ascending, never descending. That's why you're always feeling different pains palpations some of y'all going to the hospital thinking something's wrong with your heart or something's wrong with you you having panic attacks anxiety is because you're growing higher and you're getting sensitive the higher you go the more sensitive you get and you start feeling other people's energy if one thing that helps is covering your head when you go out in public also get a bottle of florida water and spray it on you it helps a little bit both of them do but it doesn't help a lot let me see what else. I'm getting downloads. As far as um, when Spirit is telling me when y'all ask for a healing and y'all ask that for mental clarity and understanding. You have to word your words correctly because spirits don't have a sense of humor like humans do. They do, but they don't. So, for example, if y'all asking for healing, don't just say, please heal my body. There's two ways you can get healed. You can get taken from the diseased body or the diseased body can be healed. So, when you're asking for healing you're gonna say my i'm asking for healing of my body my body is healed from all diseases a lot of y'all gotta understand also by honoring your ancestors and burning ancestral money you break in generational curses sometimes these curses go back well you got four thousand z Four thousand ninety-four ancestors in over four hundred years. So these generational curses go back four hundred years and more. Beginning of time, really prehistoric. A lot of y'all got some prehistoric um, ancestors because y'all ancient. Y'all keep reincarnating back. So when I say break generational curses, you got a lot to break. A lot of them got cursed because of their calling, because of their gifts. The people was jealous of them because they were gifted, so they cursed the bloodline. That's why you always wondering why your money is not flowing, why you was born into this, why was you born into poverty. You have to break the curses. First of all, it's cutting the cord of poverty, cutting the cords of the karmatic partners, cutting generation of curse. You have to burn the money. The money burns 400 years plus worth of damage. Then it burns enough to pay off your stuff. So when you transition, you don't have to go through what your ancestors did. And your kids won't have to worry about it because you made the way by burning money for them. You see what I'm coming from? Are y'all understanding me? Some of y'all have major generational curses. 
Y'all have to break it. Poverty, uh, karmatic partners, all that. It's all generational curses. Your ancestors passed on their gifts to you. That's why you're the black sheep of the family. That's why you always different. That's why you never religious, you spiritual. You're never going to fit in that box because your ancestors chose you. They chose you to break these generational curses. They passed on their gifts. So you have 400 plus years of gifts put on you. Some are laying dormant. Some are waking up. That's why I say you're always ascending. So you need to start honoring your ancestors, giving them an altar. Never worship. The only one you're supposed to worship is the almighty God. Because he is the God of all gods. He made us in our image. Every angel, every demon has to bow down to the most high. He is the alpha and omega. He's the one that has the last say. He's the one to say it's time for you to pass on. And I have to clarify something. You know, I have people saying, that's stupid. How, how can you wake up dead? I'm going to tell you how you can wake up dead. There's a rule when a person passes. I'm a medium. I see dead people ever since I was five. I talk to dead people. I talk to dead people for other people. When you get a reading by me, dead people come to me. And I, I deliver the message. But the, what I'm trying to say is, when people say, how can you wake up dead? There's a three-day rule. When a person dies, they go into sleep. They stop breathing. Either it can be your ancestors, it can be Santa Morte, it can be anybody. I don't know who's going to come and get you. Okay? They come and reach you and pull your soul out of the body. As they hold your hand, you're looking down at yourself. So you did wake up dead. You don't realize that you did. You roam the earth for three days before you direct it to where you have to go. So it's like some people, like if they die a traumatic death and it wasn't their time to go and you have someone that doesn't know the rule and you channel this person or you go to somebody, they earthbound. So they looking for a body, they will take over your body. That movie Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg, when that spirit was trying to take over the body, that shit is real. So y'all have to respect the medium because they go through a lot of stuff. There's a three-day rule for a lot of stuff. So you do wake up dead. So that saying is true. So I had to correct that person when they said, that's stupid. How can you wake up dead when you're dead? Because you're looking at your body and you woke up in a different realm. So you are waking up dead. If you have any questions anymore about honoring your ancestors, please leave a comment. If you leave a rude comment, like I said, I'm going to remove it. Respect me and I respect you. Because I didn't ask you to stay and finish this video. Y'all be blessed. Oh, also today is August 22nd. Two and two is four. And then also 2020, that's triple threes. So you have four, two, 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 eight. Break it down. Eight is four and four is eight. So you have, this month is a very magical number. So start breaking y'all stuff down. And remember that you have 4,094 worth of ancestors for the past 400 years just imagine if you add it on on another 400 years you have a lot of ancestors behind you that needs honoring that chose you so start breaking those curses by feeding them giving them water burning ancestors money and also your ancestors money you can write on the back of it as a petition as you burn it it goes up into their realm and they do use that money as above so below Y'all be blessed. Namaste.